or evil. You need to repent and turn to the true and living Jesus Christ. And why can he save? Because of his perfect death. He gave himself upon Calvary's tree. It was voluntary. And now we command everyone of every race anywhere to repent and turn in faith to Jesus Christ. And when you do that, when you do that, his righteousness is made your righteousness. Your sin is imputed to him. His righteousness is imputed to you. And that's why Romans 5, 1 says, therefore, having been justified by faith, not by law, but by faith, we have peace with God. That's what the whole point of Romans 3, 4, and 5 is. In chapter 4, Paul talks about the blessedness of the man to whom God will not impute his sin. I, know, I want to ask every person listening to me, is that you? Do you know that your sin will not be imputed to you because it's already been imputed to Jesus Christ in your place? If not, then you don't have peace with God and you don't know what the gospel is. The gospel is for everyone, every single person. The gospel means good news. The gospel is the proclamation of who Jesus is and what he did for his elect only. The entire Bible, the Old Testament and New Testament foreshadows and proclaims who Jesus is and what he did for his elect only. Jesus is the son of God, fully God and fully man and the second person in the Trinity. The gospel is God's testimony concerning Jesus as revealed in the Holy Scriptures by the Holy Spirit which proclaims how Jesus the Christ was born of a virgin and born under the law to redeem his elect who are under the law and save his elect from their sins. God's elect sheep are the people past, present, and future from every tribe, tongue, and nation. God actively chose to redeem, justify, and save based on Christ. God chosen Christ before the foundation of the world was laid according to the good pleasure of his will for his glory. God actively created and chose a people from every tribe, tongue, and nation before they were born for salvation whom God has always loved because of Christ and only Christ. God's elect are vessels of mercy prepared beforehand for glory to make known the riches of his glory. God's elect slash sheep are God's chosen vessels of mercy that are Jews and Gentiles because of Christ. God is holy. God's law is holy and good. The law of God demands perfection and worth, thought and deed at all times. The law was given through Moses. The law condemned all mankind and brought knowledge of sin. All people are under sin and none are righteous. Sin entered the world through Adam and death through sin and death spread to all mankind because all sinned. Jesus Christ is the Passover lamb without blemish for his elect by God's sovereign grace. Just as the Israelites were, were released from Egypt after the death of the firstborn, Jesus Christ, the firstborn of all creation, justified all his elect at the cross from the wrath of God. Jesus willingly went to the cross and offered one sacrifice for all time for his elect he sanctified as their representative and high priest. Jesus was crucified for the elect's sin and raised for their justification. It pleased God the Father to crush His only begotten Son, and God the Father accepted Jesus' perfect sacrifice on behalf of His sheep. Jesus paid His elect's sin debt, and, and there is now no condemnation for those who are married to Christ. By Christ's knowledge, He justified all His elect and finished His mission. All of God's sheep will believe God's testimony concerning Christ because Jesus justified them by his perfect sacrifice on the cross. Not one sheep Jesus died for will perish. Jesus is the good shepherd. Faith, believing God's testimony concerning Jesus is the fruit of what Jesus accomplished for his sheep. God's sheep are righteous before God by the imputed righteousness of Christ provided at the cross as prophesied in Psalm 32 and fulfilled in John 19. All Jesus died for are regenerated at God's appointed time to believe God's testimony concerning Christ on who Christ is and what he did at the cross.